Hi friends, it's Mickey here with your singing tip of the week. So today I'm going to be doing a reaction to and a technique breakdown of Donny Hathaway's A Song For You. I found out about this song as I find out about a lot of music through one of my students. And so I heard this song for the first time about a week ago. And the one thing that stuck out to me immediately was the timbre of Donny Hathaway's voice. So once you hit all of the technical bullet points, once you check all of those things off, like you have an accurate pitch and you're singing the correct lyrics and the correct song structure, the thing that really makes a voice attractive and stand out and be distinctive is the timbre or the tonal quality of the voice. And that's really controlled by two things. It's controlled by the resonant space, which occurs in your throat and in your face mostly. I mean, some of it occurs in your chest as well, in your lungs, but mostly it's in our throat and our face. And then where our resonance hits within our face. So how big is that cathedral dome inside of our face and our throat? And where is the sound spinning? Where is that ping happening? Where is the vibration hitting on the inside surface area of our face? Some of the adjectives that I would use to describe tone or timbre include things like resonant, rich, deep, powerful, thin, brittle, pinched, squeezed, bright, nasal, dark, all of these things come into play when we talk about timbre. So let's take a listen to this track and you'll hear just how lovely his voice is. So what you're hearing now is the opening piano riff. Hear my kids in the background too. <laughs> They're going to bed. So this piano part actually sounds much more difficult than it is. It's just a repeating third descending figure going down chromatically over an A7 chord. If that sounds like gobbledygook to you, don't worry about it. But if you are a pianist, it sounds much more difficult than it actually is because that figure just repeats over and over again. And there's actually three instrumental breaks in the song. And the first, this one, the intro, and the second instrumental break are exactly the same. I've been so many places in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs I've made some bad ones I've acted out my life in stages with 10,000 people watching But we're alone now And I'm singing this song to you so the reason that I didn't stop it right away is I really wanted you to get a sense of his voice. And he's got this beautiful, really resonant quality to his voice. So he's maximizing the amount of space that's in his throat and his face. And he's got a, a low range, but he's not pulling. He's not really weightlifting with his voice. So it's not like, I've been a lot of places in my life and time. Even though his voice is low, it still has this almost airy quality to it. It's very, very open, very big, very resonant. And he has a lot of nuance and a beautiful vibrato. And he's using a lot of these really lovely riffs and ornaments. So now that you've heard a little bit of it, we're going to backtrack and we're going to go through it line by line. And the way that I would attack learning a song like this is because there are so many ornaments and that can be hard to hear right away, I would strip those out and I would really try to hear the component melody in its simplest form. I've been so many places in my life and time. So that actually sounds a lot more complicated than it is because he's scooping from above and below into notes and he has a lot of vibrato in there. So the basic melody is just, I've been so many places in my life and time. So if you think about it like that, it becomes much easier to learn. I've 
So I've sung a lot of songs. And then he continues down a little ornament, songs. But if you take that out, it still has that really nice melody. So I, would, I wouldn't even add in that ornament. I think it's even prettier, nice and simple. So I've been a lot of places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I've made some bad rhymes. So it's much simpler than what he sings, but that's the basic melody. I've acted out my life in stages. I've acted out my life in stages. So he goes up and he comes back down. Stages. But you don't need to do that. You can just hit that main melody. I've acted out my life in stages. With 10,000 people watching. With 10,000 people watching. But we're alone now. And I'm singing the song to you. But we're alone now. And I'm singing this song to you. So you can hear when you really take out those ornaments, it becomes a lot easier to learn. So let's actually go back to the beginning and let's sing the whole thing through. So the first verse is gonna be, I've been so many places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I've made some bad rhymes. I've acted out my life in stages with 10,000 people watching. We're alone now and I'm singing this song to you. So let's continue with the second verse. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. So that's a very, very long phrase there. So you're going to sing that on one breath. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. So I would strip out the rest of that ornament in there and just sing it like that. I treated you unkindly. I've treated you unkindly. But darling, can't you see? That's so low down there. See, you gotta really push down on that column of air. See, in order to make that nice and steady. There's no one more important to me. There's no one more important to me. you see through me and you're actually hearing him modify his vowels there so instead of saying baby which is very narrow he's saying bay bay can't you see through may right so you'll see that a lot it makes it a lot easier to sing because we're alone now and i'm singing the song to you because we're alone now and i'm singing this song to you pretty much the same way that he sings the tag on the first verse. So let's review that second verse in totality. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. I treated you unkindly and darling, can't you see? There's no one more important to me Baby, can't you see through me? Cause we're alone now and I'm singing this song to you. So much simpler without all those ornaments, a lot easier to hear and to learn. Let's continue on to the bridge. You taught me precious secrets of a true love. You're holding nothing. 
so you taught me precious secrets of a true love of withholding nothing that's how i would sing it you came out in front when i was hiding you came out in front when i was hiding and then he continues down Ing, but you don't need that there you came out in front when i was hiding now i'm so much better now i'm so much better and if my words don't come together and if my words don't come together listen to the melody cause my love Listen to the melody, cause my love is in the hiding. It's actually a very simple melody without all of those sweeps and swoops and little vibrato sections in there. You taught me precious secrets of a true love withholding nothing. You came out in front when I was hiding. Now I'm so much better. And if my words don't come together, listen to the melody, cause my love is in the hiding. Then we get that same descending piano figure that we had in the intro. or time. So that's the really simple breakdown. You can even do it simpler without the sweep up and down. I love you in a place, right? Rather than I love you in a place where there's no space and time. And then he kind of pulses on that. Where there's no space or time. I love you for my life. I love you for my life. But it's really just those three notes. I love you for my life. You're a friend of mine. You're a friend of mine is the most simple version of the melody. And when my life is over. And when my life is over, remember when we were together. Remember when we were together. We were alone, and I was singing this song to you. We were alone, and I was singing this song to you. Let's recap. I love you in a place where there's no space or time. I love you for my life. You're a friend of mine. And when my life is over, remember when we were together. We were alone, and I was singing this song to you. 
Then we have our final piano break, which is a little bit more complex than the previous two. It's more of like a jazz improv. We've got our strings. So a lot of repeated figures still. So there we have an interesting riff, right? That I love you. So you could definitely simplify that and make it like I love or I love you is basically the component notes. So you could go anywhere from really, really simple and very reductive to the whole complete um, ornament, but it sounds beautiful in any of those incarnations. So it's just getting more and more ornamented, right? I love you in a place where there's no space and time. Where there's no space or time. I love you for my life. I love you for my life. So without the vibrato and the bending, it's actually a very, very simple melodic figure. I love you for my life. You're a friend of mine. And then he goes back up. Ah, you're a friend of mine. He goes down the third and back up the third by step. And when my life is over. It's the same as before. And when my life is over. You could end it right there. and Or you could add in. Ah, right, as much as you want. But you don't need any of that. When we were together, we were alone and I was singing this song to you. So on that one, he connects the phrases. Before he had a pause between we were alone and I was singing this song to you. Now it becomes one phrase. We were alone and I was singing this song to you. But it's the same melody. It's just conjoined into one phrase. So on that one, he goes up. So we were alone and I was singing this song to you, right? So you could really simplify it. Just repeat the same line over and over again. We were alone and I was singing this song to you. We were alone and I was singing this song to you. And on the second one, go up, but it's just a little bit simpler. We So that's quite a nice long phrase. We we so now he's throwing in that um that minor in there. We we were alone. Alone and I was singing this song. We're alone and I was singing this song. So just playing around, circling around that note. So then he just does a little vocalization. Uh, 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 uh. But you could do whatever you want there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whatever's within that scale, you can just do a little vocalization there. Singing a song to you. So here he has a very long extended note. So I would say, sing in this song, breathe to you. And that's what he ends on. He goes up that one whole step. So 
just pulses on that one note. So there you have it. It's a beautiful song, and I hope that breaking it down in this way made it a little bit easier to hear the core melody and to hopefully wrap your head around it and learn it. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video, and I will see you here next week for another singing video. Until then, happy singing.